Seon Buddhism Korean, Seon IPA, Sun, is the transformative factor of Chan Buddhism tradition and creed in Korea. A main feature of Seon Buddhism is a method of meditation, Ganwa Seon Korean. A Korean monk, Jinil, Korean, Jinil accepted partially a meditative method of Chan Buddhism in 1205. In Chan Buddhism, Hawadu, Korean, Hawadu was a delivery of realizing a natural state of the awakening. Jinil addressed a doctrine of Sagyo Yisian Korean, Sagyoibsian that monks should live an inborn life after learning and forgetting all creeds and theories. Within the doctrine of Jinil, Hawadu is the witnessing of truthful meaning in everyday life. History of Seon During the Goryeo dynasty Jinil strongly influenced Korean Buddhism. He was the first monk to be appointed a national teacher and advisor by the king, having written a book presenting the Seon tradition from the Song dynasty. And this Seon tradition preserved well to this day. After Taego Bo brought his Dharma transmission to Goryeo, the Joseon dynasty suppressed Buddhism in favor of Confucianism. In spite of the suppression, Hyajung wrote about the three religions Seon Buddhism, Confucianism, Taoism in the Joseon dynasty from Seon point of view. He also succeeded to the Dharma transmission. During the Japanese invasions of Korea 1592 Hyajung and Yujung commanded guerrilla units of monks and took part in diplomacy. Under annexation by Japan most monks were forced to marry, this lasted about 40 years until the act of purification. During those times, masters like Gyoengyo and Mangong kept Dharma transmission alive. 21 th century, the few left this Dharma transmission. Namjinji Bugsongdam Nan Genji Bei Song Tan Jinji to the south, Songdam to the north, is well known phrase in Korean Seon tradition these days. Others are Sungsan, Daewon. <laughs> Unified Silla period. Transmission of Chan to Korea Chan was transmitted into Unified Silla 668 to 935. Bomnang, Falang, Pomnang, Piamnang 632 to 646, who studied with the fourth patriarch Dai Daozin, Dao Shin 580 to 651, was the first to bring the teachings to Korea. Bomnang transmitted his teachings to Sinhang, Shane Shing 704 to 779, who also traveled to China. Sinhang studied with Puji 651 to 739, a successor of Yukon Shangshu, died 706, the head of the East Mountain teaching of Chan. Seon was further popularized by Dao Yi, Dao Yi died 825 at the beginning of the 9th century. Topic: <laughs> 9 schools. Seon was gradually further transmitted into Korea, as Korean monks of predominantly Hwaeom and Yogacara background began to travel to China to study the Hongzhou school of Mazu Daoyi and his successors and the Rinzai school of Lin Ji Yixuan. Mazu's successors had numerous Korean students, some of whom returned to Korea and established their own schools at various mountain monasteries with their leading disciples. Initially, the number of these schools was fixed at nine. Seon was termed the Nine Mountain Schools at the time. Eight of these were of the lineage of Mazu Daoyi, Ma Zhu Dao Yi 709 to 788, as they were established through connection with either him or one of his eminent disciples. The one exception was the Sumi San school founded by Yieom Li Yan 869 to 936, which had developed from the Kaodong school. Sao Dong Tui Dao Yi Dao Yi died 825, who studied with Zhi 735 to 814, and Beijing Huaihai Bai 749 to 814, is regarded as the first patriarch of Korean Sun. He founded the Kaji Mountain School, Jaji Shan Gaji San school. The Nine Mountain Schools adopted the name Jogi Order in 826. The first record of the Nine Mountain School dates from 1084. Topic: <laughs> Goryeo Dynasty 9181392. Topic: <laughs> Tension. By the 11th century, Sun Buddhism became established in Korea. It distinguished itself from the existing five schools and their scriptural emphasis. 
Tension developed between the new meditational schools and the previously existing scholastic schools, which were described by the term gyo, meaning «learning» or «study». Efforts were needed to attain mutual understanding and rapprochement between Sun and these scholastic schools. <laughs> Jinil The most important figure of Goryeo era Son was Jinil, Hongul, Jinil Hanja, Jine 1158–1210, who established a reform movement in Korea. In his time, the Sangha was in a crisis of external appearance and internal issues of doctrine. Buddhism was seen as infected by secular tendencies and involvements, such as fortune-telling and the offering of prayers and rituals for success in secular endeavors. This perceived corruption was seen to create a profusion of monks and nuns with questionable motives. Therefore, the correction, revival, and improvement of the quality of Buddhism were prominent issues for Buddhist leaders of the period. Jinil sought to establish a new movement within Korean Seon, which he called the Samadhi and Prajna Society. Its goal was to establish a new community of disciplined, pure minded practitioners deep in the mountains. He eventually accomplished this mission with the founding of the Songgwangsa Songguangsi at Jogyezin as a new center of pure practice. Jinul's works are characterized by a thorough analysis and reformulation of the methodologies of Son study and practice. He laid an equal emphasis on doctrinal teaching and Sun practice. One major issue that had long fermented in Chan, and which received special focus from Jinul, was the relationship between gradual and sudden methods in practice and enlightenment. Drawing upon various Chinese treatments of this topic, most importantly those by Gaifeng Zongmi and Dawei Zongo Jinil created Pojo Sun, a sudden enlightenment followed by gradual practice dictum, which he outlined in a few relatively concise and accessible texts. Jinil incorporated Dawei Zongao's Guanhua Chinese, Guanhua Pinyin, Guanhua observing the critical phrase into his practice this form of meditation is the main method taught in korean son today jinul's philosophical resolution of the son gyo conflict brought a deep and lasting effect on korean buddhism topic <laughs> haisim Jinul's successor, Chingek Haisim, Haisim Wei Shane 1178 1234, further emphasized the Hawadu ch. Watu, word head, or critical phrase practice. He collected 1,125 gongans in his Sanman Yamsongjip, the collection of verses and cases, 1226. Haisim encouraged female practitioners to practice Hawadu, whereas women's Buddhist practice was limited to chanting and sutra readings. Topic. Jogi order It was during the time of Jinul that the Jogi order, a Son sect, became the predominant form of Korean Buddhism, a status it still holds. Taigo Bo studied the Linji school in China and returned to unite the Nine Mountain schools. There would be a series of important Son teachers during the next several centuries, such as Haijin Hongul, Haijin Hanja, Wei Chin 1320–76, Taigo Bo 1301–82, Giwa 1376–1433 and Hyajung 1520–1604, who continued to develop the basic mold of Korean meditational Buddhism established by Jinil. Joseon Suppression At the end of Goryeo and during Joseon the Jogi order was combined with the scholarly schools. It lost influence under the ruling class, which embraced Neo-Confucianism. Buddhism was gradually suppressed for the next 500 years. The number of temples was reduced, restrictions on membership in the Sangha were installed, and Buddhist monks and nuns were literally chased into the mountains, forbidden to mix with society. Joseon Buddhism was first condensed to Son and Gyo. Eventually, these were further reduced to the single school of Son. Giwa wrote an important treatise in defense of Buddhism, the Hyonjung Nan. In the tradition of earlier philosophers, he applied essence function and Hwaeom sa sa mu a, mutual interpenetration of phenomena. During Joseon, the number of Buddhist monasteries dropped from several hundred to a mere 36. 
Limits were placed on the number of clergy, land area, and ages for entering the Sangha. When the final restrictions were in place, monks and nuns were prohibited from entering the cities. Buddhist funerals, and even begging, were outlawed. A few rulers temporarily lifted the more suppressive regulations. The most noteworthy of these was the Queen Munjung. The Queen had deep respect for the brilliant monk Bo, Bo Puyu 1515–1565, and installed him as the head of the Son school. Siosan Buddhist monks helped in repelling the Japanese invasions of Korea 1592 Monks were organized into guerrilla units, which enjoyed some instrumental successes. The «Righteous Monk» movement was led by Hyajung a Seon master and the author of a number of important religious texts. The presence of the monks' army was a critical factor in the eventual expulsion of the Japanese invaders. Siosan made efforts toward the unification of Buddhist doctrinal study and practice. He was strongly influenced by Wanhyo, Jinil, and Giwa. He is considered the central figure in the revival of Joseon Buddhism, and most major streams of modern Korean Seon trace their lineages back to him through one of his four main disciples, Yujung (1544–1610), Eongi (1581–1644), Taenung (1562–1649), and Ilseon (1533–1608), all four of whom were lieutenants to Seo Son during the war with Japan. Topic. Late Joseon Kingdom Buddhism during the three centuries, from the time of Seosan down to the next Japanese incursion into Korea in the late 19th century, did not change very much. The Buddhism of the late Joseon Kingdom saw a revival of Hwaeom studies. There was also a revival of Pure Land Buddhism. Korean Empire (1897–1910) and Japanese annexation (1910–1945). With the Korean Empire started the Gwangmu Reform, a modernization of Korea. The Korean Empire ended in 1910 when Korea was annexated by Japan. Korean monks traveled to Japan for the scholarly study of Buddhism, where they were influenced by Japanese scholars who introduced Western ideas into their studies. Via those Korean monks Western ideas were also introduced in Korean Buddhism, and a bifurcation developed between monks and scholars. <laughs> Division of Korea After the Second World War the United Nations developed plans for a trusteeship administration, the Soviet Union administering the peninsula north of the 38th parallel and the United States Army military government in Korea administering the south. The politics of the Cold War resulted in the 1948 establishment of two separate governments, North Korea and South Korea. Contemporary zone. Since the middle of the 20th century Christianity has competed with Buddhism in South Korea, while religious practice has been suppressed in North Korea, Seon continues to be practiced in Korea today at a number of major monastic centers, as well as being taught at Donggak University, which has a major of studies in this religion. The largest Buddhist denomination is the Jogi Order. In the 1980s a debate arose about sudden versus gradual enlightenment. Since Jinil Korean Seon was based on the integration of practice and scholarly study in the slogan, Sudden Enlightenment, Gradual Cultivation. The modern Korean Seon master Sung Chol revived the slogan, Sudden Enlightenment, Sudden Cultivation, ascribed to Huning. The last three supreme patriarchs of the Jogi order have a stance in this debate that is in accordance with Sung Chol. Spread in the United States Korean Seon has been spread in the U.S. by Sungsan. He was a temple abbot in Seoul and after living in Hong Kong and Japan, he moved to the U.S. in 1972, not speaking any English. On the flight to Los Angeles, a Korean-American passenger offered him a job at a laundry in Providence, Rhode Island, which became headquarters of Sung San's Kwan Um School of Zen. Shortly after arriving in Providence, he attracted students and founded the Providence Zen Center. The Kwan Um School has more than 100 Zen centers on six continents. 
Another Korean Zen teacher, Samu Sunam, founded Toronto's Zen Buddhist Temple in 1971. He is head of the Buddhist Society for Compassionate Wisdom, which has temples in Ann Arbor, Chicago, Mexico City, and New York City. In the early 20th century, Master Kyungho re-energized Korean Seon. At the end of World War II, his disciple, Master Man Gong proclaimed that lineage dharma should be transmitted worldwide to encourage peace through enlightenment. Consequently, his dharma successor, Hyam brought lineage dharma to the United States. Hai Am's Dharma successor, M. Y. O. Vong founded the Western Sun Academy 1976, and his Korean disciple, Poa Sunam, founded World Zen Fellowship 1994, which includes various Zen centers in the United States, such as the Potomac Zen Sangha, the Patriarchal Zen Society and the Baltimore Zen Center. Notes References Topic Book References Topic Web References Topic Sources Topic Further reading Lax, Stuart, twenty twelve, Wa Tu, A Method of Zen Meditation, PDF Topic External links Routledge Encyclopedia of Philosophy, Buddhist Philosophy, Korean Jin Y. Park 2010, Buddhism and Modernity in Korea Introduction to Makers of Modern Korean Buddhism Budanet, Buddhism in Korea